let's turn the pages back to the Vietnam War, a period steeped in turmoil and terror. It was a time when technology was rapidly evolving. One particular innovation stands out. The introduction of night vision goggles, however they revealed more than just the hidden enemy combatants. Air gunners peering through these early prototypes reported seeing horrifying demonic looking entities scattered across the battlefield. They appeared to exist in a parallel universe, visible only through this specific technology. Is it possible that amidst the chaos and fear, a door to a demonic parallel dimension was unwittingly unlocked? Or could these sightings simply be the product of overstressed minds struggling to comprehend the madness of war? Imagine being in the heart of a war zone surrounded by the sounds of gunfire and explosions, but suddenly you catch sight of something even more terrifying. War. It's a realm where humanity's darkest side often emerges. Beyond the tangible horrors, the bloodshed, the destruction and the loss, there lurks something more sinister, something unseen. Across the annals of time, from the ancient battles to the modern wars, tales have been whispered about the inexplicable and the uncanny. These are not just stories of human monsters birthed from the cauldron of conflict, but of entities decidedly supernatural, perhaps even demonic in nature. Now let's turn the pages back to the Vietnam War, a period steeped in turmoil and terror. It was a time when technology was rapidly evolving, providing new tools to those on the front lines. Among these advancements, one particular innovation stands out. The introduction of night vision goggles. These devices, initially developed to provide soldiers with an advantage in the cover of darkness, used a photon-based system, translating signals into the red side of the light spectrum. However, they revealed more than just the hidden enemy combatants. Air gunners peering through these early prototypes reported seeing horrifying demonic-looking entities scattered across the battlefield. These apparitions were so terrifying that they reportedly drove some to the brink of madness. These spectral figures, seen through the crimson glow of the goggles, were described as monstrous, resembling creatures of nightmare and myth. They appeared to exist in a parallel universe, visible only through this specific technology. Modern night vision devices which translate electrons into green light rather than red, do not reveal these eerie entities. Yet they do allow the viewer to spot numerous unidentified flying objects UFOs in the night sky. These UFO sightings combined with the earlier reports of demonic beings raise a host of unnerving questions. But these goggles did not just illuminate the enemy, they revealed something far more chilling. It's as if the horrors of war had ripped open a veil allowing a glimpse into a realm we were never meant to see. Is it possible that amidst the chaos and fear, a door to a demonic parallel dimension was unwittingly unlocked? Or could these sightings simply be the product of overstressed minds struggling to comprehend the madness of war? As we delve deeper into this mystery we may just find that the true horrors of war extend far beyond the battlefield. As soldiers peered through their red-tinted goggles, they didn't just see their human foes. They encountered entities that defied explanation, beings that seemed to have stepped straight out of a nightmare. These demonic figures, bathed in the crimson hue of the night vision goggles, were said to be everywhere. They lurked in the shadows, perched on trees, and even hovered in the air, their chilling presence driving some of the most hardened veterans to the brink of insanity. One such account is that of a commander, as narrated by his son in the program, Cliff High, Antarctica Unveiled, in 2018. The commander during the early days of night vision technology, used photon-based goggles that translated signals into the red side of the light spectrum. What he saw was a sight that would haunt him for the rest of his life. Around him were terrifying demonic-looking creatures, their forms an abhorrent mockery of the human silhouette. The sight was so horrifying it was said to have driven air gunners to madness. These sightings weren't isolated incidents confined to a handful of soldiers, numerous men on the battlefield reported seeing these grotesque figures. Each account was eerily similar, describing the demonic apparitions with an uncanny consistency. It was as if the soldiers had unwittingly stumbled upon a parallel universe, one that was teeming with these monstrous entities. Modern night vision systems have since evolved using electrons for input and translating these into green light. This shift in technology seems to have made these gargoyle-like creatures disappear from sight, 
Yet those who own modern night vision goggles have reported seeing unidentified flying objects, adding another layer to this already intricate mystery. This was not just a one-off incident, many soldiers reported similar sightings leading to madness and terror. The question that lingers is, were these soldiers merely hallucinating under the immense stress of war, or were they truly seeing into another realm, a realm that is perhaps best left unseen? But what could be the explanation behind these terrifying sightings? Let's dive into the science behind these nightmarish visions. Night vision goggles, the tool allegedly responsible for these sightings, function on the principle of light amplification. They gather existing ambient light like starlight or moonlight and pass it through a specialized lens system known as an image intensifier tube. This tube is coated with a substance that reacts to the photons, the particles of light, and converts them into electrons. In the early days of night vision technology, during the Vietnam War, these goggles operated on a photon-based system. The electrons were then translated into the red side of the light spectrum. Now why red? Well, it's because our eyes are less sensitive to red light, which makes it easier for the human eye to adapt when switching between light and dark conditions. This is where things take a turn for the eerie. It was reported that these red-tinted goggles revealed grotesque, demonic-looking entities, driving some to the brink of insanity. The images seen were so vivid and consistent that they appeared to be revealing an entirely different parallel universe, teeming with these monstrous apparitions. Over time, the technology evolved. Today's night vision systems have switched to the green spectrum. The human eye can distinguish more shades of green than any other color, making it the optimal choice for these devices. This switch, however, seems to have made the ghoulish figures disappear, but has led to increased sightings of unidentified flying objects or UFOs. So, what's the connection here? Could it be that the color spectrum used by the goggles affects what we perceive to exist in the darkness? Or maybe, just maybe, the early red-tinted goggles were not merely translating photons into visible light, but were instead acting as a window into a parallel dimension, a dimension filled with entities that our naked eyes cannot see. Could it be that these red-tinted goggles were revealing a parallel demonic dimension? The question remains a tantalizing mystery, a chilling reminder that there is so much we don't understand about the world, and worlds around us. The sightings sparked numerous theories, each more chilling than the last. Could the hallucinations of demonic entities be the result of stressed minds, driven to the brink by the horrors of war? Indeed, the human mind is a fragile thing. The mental strain of combat, the constant fear of death, the guilt of killing, such psychological pressures could easily warp one's perception of reality, creating monstrous apparitions where there were none, or could it be the consequence of drug use? It's no secret that soldiers often turn to narcotics to cope with the harsh realities of war. Certain substances can induce vivid hallucinations, and even alter one's sense of time and space. Could these red-eyed demons simply be the product of drug-addled minds? Yet some theories venture into the realm of the supernatural. What if these demonic entities were not illusions but real creatures from another dimension? Interdimensional beings, capable of crossing the thin veil separating their world from ours. Some say these demons are tricksters, exploiting our fears and vulnerabilities, creating paranormal phenomena tailored to our deepest secrets and insecurities. And then, there's the UFO connection. The Vietnam War was rife with UFO sightings. Could these demonic entities and the unidentified flying objects be linked? Some speculate that these creatures could be extraterrestrial in nature, or perhaps the UFOs are vehicles, transporting these entities from their world to ours, or perhaps these sightings were a glimpse into a parallel universe, a dimension where these demonic creatures exist. Maybe the night vision goggles with their unique light spectrum somehow served as a key, unlocking this terrifying reality. Each theory brings with it a new set of questions and a new kind of fear. Yet despite the multitude of speculations one question remains largely unexplored. What could be the motivation of these entities? Are they simply malevolent beings delighting in our fear and confusion? Or do they have a more sinister purpose, one that we are yet to understand? As with any paranormal phenomena, there are more questions than answers. 
And so, we find ourselves circling back to the initial quandaries that surfaced within the eerie tales of the Vietnam War. Tales that spoke of nightmarish entities, lurking unseen until revealed by the crimson gaze of photon-based night vision goggles. Could these monstrous apparitions truly be interdimensional demons, exploiting the chaos of war to manifest in our reality? Our understanding of the world is limited by the spectrum of our senses. It's a humbling thought to consider that we perceive less than 1% of what actually surrounds us. So could these demonic figures be a part of that vast, unseen majority? And if so, what does that mean for our understanding of the universe and our place within it? But the questions don't stop there. If these entities are indeed real, are they simply observers from another plane of existence? Or do they have a more sinister purpose? Are they, as suggested, exploiting our vulnerabilities, our fears, our secrets? And if they can shape our perception of paranormal phenomena, how deep does their influence extend? Could they be the puppeteers behind the UFO sightings reported by night vision goggle users? Are they perhaps orchestrating a grand illusion, leading us to believe in ghosts and other supernatural phenomena, all while they remain hidden in the shadows, unseen and unacknowledged? And perhaps the most unsettling question of all, why? What could be their motivation for such deception? Are they feeding off our fear, our confusion, our curiosity? Or is there a more complex, more insidious purpose that we cannot begin to comprehend? These questions remain unanswered, their answers hidden perhaps in that elusive 99% beyond our perception. They are a reminder of how little we truly know, and how much lies beyond our understanding. As we ponder these questions one thing is clear, war brings with it not just human monsters, but perhaps also those of a more supernatural kind.